What is going on guys? I am Jehovah and real quick before this awesome video from Rue. Uh, Rue's my buddy and he does some GTA content on his channel and I put a lot of it here on this channel as well. And I'm a big fan of what he does so in order to help him out a little bit I'm going to run a little bit of a, uh, a promotion. So uh, if you guys get done watching this video and you enjoy it, check out his link in the description and subscribe to his channel and leave a like on this video. And everybody that does that will be automatically entered to win a copy of GTA 5 when it there's a lot that's gone into the mapping out of Grand Theft Auto 5. Los Santos, Los Angeles in real life. But uh, where exactly has that come from? I'm Iru399 and today we're going to be discussing the source of the map of GTA 5. Now this is going to be a weird one, alright? This is, this is going to be a weird one because you might be thinking, what's he on about, the source? Well, as you may know, Los Santos is where we're going in GTA 5. So I guess the idea originated in San Andreas. They didn't want to remake San Andreas, but they, they felt as if... Los Angeles hadn't had its full efforts put on and the, you know, the technology Rockstar have available to them now when they started making this game you know, is leaps and bounds above what they had in San Andreas. So the idea for the game came there, I guess. Well, they wanted a big map, I guess, a really big map. But there's a difference between having a giant map with nothing in it and having a map that's immersive, works well, and it, it's kind of, it's not just a linear game, similar to how you had in L.A. Noire. And I know Rockstar North didn't, you know, didn't make that game, but Rockstar was a big part of it. You had a giant map. But there wasn't really anything to do aside from just go here, go there. And I know it was a detective game, but the map could have been generated. All right, so the size I think came from a mix between uh, L.A. Noire and San Andreas. All right, so there's I guess two things that have come from San Andreas already. Well, you've not only just got that because you've got the big cityscapes in the middle. All right, you've got the middle of Los Santos. It's a big place. All right. That came from GTA 4. Where else would it have come from? And then it would have been developed when they made uh, Max Payne 3. You may say, well, what have they done there in Max Payne 3 that made them able to do more in GTA 5? What if you think about it? All of the, the buildings and stuff and all the architecture that you'd see throughout Max Payne's storyline would have helped in the development of GTA 5 because, of course, textures, you know, they probably worked on a lot of car textures in that game as well. So that's gone into GTA, I'd imagine. And you, know, you see how stuff going together different projects are helping with this big game all right so you've got the big map idea you've got the the city idea well what else have you got you've got this big Blaine County thing all right it's this giant you know expansive countryside Red Dead where else is it gonna come from Red Dead Redemption was a game where it was kind of like Grand Theft Auto only back in time all right and it was a big you had big deserts you had you know you had America you had Mexico all right that I think is where they would have had their experience in developing something like you know the, the, the countryside in GTA 5 I just think that's gonna be the case going back to this big map thing all right, I'm gonna explain for if you if you don't know what I mean by big map okay they said they totaled everything up in terms of exteriors, which is of course, you know, uh, the, the the length, the width, the height of the map. All right, that is that's what a sandbox game is essentially. Vision a sand pit, and then get rid of all the sand, and then stick a load of model buildings in it. That's essentially what you've got. Okay, so every time you build a building upwards, you're taking up some memory. Every time you build a hill, that takes up a bit of memory. Okay, so that's exteriors. Interiors is where you'd say open up a door and it would load up a screen in San Andreas for example and then you're reloading, uh, you're loading up a different map which would be the inside of that building, that's an interior okay this exterior I believe is also underwater stuff I don't know if you're gonna have a loading time when you go in to do the scuba diving but they've also mapped out the underwater life of Los Santos so you've got underwater Exteriors, which on its own is going to be X by Y by Z, all right, and that is just going to be huge, okay? You're talking something that is probably bigger than San Andreas, just in its, you know, its outside, okay? The interiors are going to make up for a lot of them. Apparently, every one in 500 buildings is enterable. That's a lot of buildings, considering you're going to have, uh, you know, uh, LA Autos or Los Santos Autos or Customs, I think it is. You're going to have, uh, you know, shops, you're going to have uh, banks, you're going to have all kinds of different places, all right? Uh, garages, I guess, everything, uh, safe houses, businesses, they're all going to be around. You're all going to be able to go inside them. So when I say the map is going to be big, it's going to be long, 
wide, you're going to be able to go up very high because, of course, there are mountains. You can go something like 19,000 feet into the air, right? So you've got the width, the breadth, the height, but you've also got the inside and the underwater stuff. So the map's going to be big, and I think they've gained a lot of their experience from Max Payne, San Andreas, Red Dead, GTA 4. This game is what GTA probably should have been all along. What do you think? I mean, that's my conclusion to that. Uh, like I said, maybe at the start of the video, I think Jehovah mentioned there is a giveaway going on over my channel. If you come on over and have a look, there's a lot of GTA stuff going on, so maybe you'll come on over and you'll, you'll like what you see. I've been Iru399 talking about GTA 5's map, and I will catch you in a little bit.